Brenton Ford here with another Swimming News update. Don't get caught in the distance trap where you're more focused on how far you do in a training session than what you do in a training session. Unless you're training for the English Channel, a full Ironman or a long distance event, then you're better off focusing on what you do in your training sessions than how far you do. The best place to improve your technique is outside of your normal training sessions because most squad sessions are focused on improving fitness than technique. So if you can set aside 30 to 60 minutes once a week where you're, it's just you, the pool, and you're working on drills, kick, body position, all those things that make up a good swimming technique, then you'll improve a whole lot quicker than if you're trying to improve your technique just in your normal training sessions. If you want feedback on your stroke from your coach, the best way to do it is to just ask. See, most coaches are busy managing swimmers and managing lanes because they have a lot of swimmers to work with. But if you can put your hand up and just ask your coach to look at you for a couple laps, then they'll be able to give you feedback and it's a lot better than just waiting for your coach to say something. So get your coach to look at your stroke and suggest a few things that you could do with your technique. Now, if you've ever watched two freestylers next to each other, one that brings their arm forward in the recovery and one that enters across their head or comes across their body, then you'll know that the faster one is obviously the one that drives forward in their recovery. So if you can make that switch from driving more forward as opposed to across your head and across your body, then you'll be a whole lot better off for your freestyle. If you've found that your fitness and your training has stagnated and it's hit a little bit of a plateau, then the reason might be because you're doing the same thing constantly again and again in your training sessions. So you should vary what you do in your training sessions because the body adapts to things that it's used to doing. So if you can change it up by doing different speeds, different distances and different drills and things like that in your session, then you'll find that your body has to adjust to a whole different kind of training. This week is the first week that these news updates are available as podcasts. So you can see above this video, there's a play button so you can just listen to it instead of watching me. And you can also go to the Effortless Swimming iTunes page where you can subscribe to the weekly podcast so it will go straight to your iTunes every single week. If you're not subscribed to the weekly newsletter, where you get sent an email every time we've got a new video available for you, then you can do so at the end of this video. You can also do so on the side of this page. Just enter your email address and you'll be sent weekly updates. That's it for news this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.